that's true. One thing you don't know about Ariana Grande is that she literally sings everything. Like yes. she's she's starting to forget how to talk in her own voice because she sings everything, and it's a good thing because she's a beautiful voice. But it's awesome. She sings absolutely everything. She never stops. That's so true, Liz. You sing a lot too. Like I, especially during the rehearsal. All sing. It's very unfortunate to see her career go downhill like this. Today, I'm going to discuss Victoria Justice. She's an actor slash singer. She also started in the show Zoe 101. Before she started her debut with her solo career, Victoria Justice also started in her own show called Victorious. With this show, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like Hannah Montana, where she actually was a, a student by day and by night, she was a pop star. I saw the show for a little bit. I didn't find it very interesting. As for Victoria, unfortunately, her career did not really last for her, especially her music career. I really feel like that she is a really good actor than a singer. Her first song, Gold, that she released in 2013, really did not do good. It only sold 33,000 copies, where Ariana Grande's song, The Way, sold 2.4 million copies in the US. Her song, Gold, was not very impressive. To me, it was just not very creative, and it was just a very how can you say <laughs> a snooze fest? I really don't find her very interesting as an artist. That being, I really think that she's just trying so hard being this artist that she's really not. But I really feel like that Victoria is trying way too hard to put out music that is not very suitable for her. I do not dislike Victoria Justice at all. I find her very sweet. And she seems like a very nice girl, as I heard from some Ariana fans and some other people as well. When she was still with uh, Nickelodeon, um, when they were asking about who is the best singer, or I don't know how they said it, people brought up Ariana Grande. And, well, I'll let the video explain for itself. Break out the song and dance is Ariana Grande. <laughs> we'll give that one to Ariana too. <laughs> Ariana, definitely. Yeah, Ariana. It's probably Ariana. Me. I would say that's an even tie between all of us. Right there, you can tell that Victoria's body language is not really comfortable with this question. That's why people are kind of having a lot of theories of her and Ariana Grande feuding back and forth behind the scenes. Now, I'm not sure what is going on behind the scenes with Ariana Grande and Victoria Justice. It doesn't go well over there. I heard a lot of not good things with Nickelodeon. Between the two girls, Victoria had to come out and tell people that her and Ariana were not feuding and they're not going head to head. She even confirmed this multiple times, especially another time when TMZ uh, was able to spot her in an airport and they asked her the same question. She didn't really take this really lightly and you can tell with her body language that she didn't feel like talking about it. I'll ask you a question. Is there any part of you that reg that regrets breaking up the band, so to speak, with Ariana Grande? Don't get worked up again. When you break up anything. Leaving the show or the show ending, that was completely up to Nickelodeon and the executives. And I love the cast and I love doing Victorious, but there's much more to that story that people don't know. Is that right? So, so you I and I- I don't think it's fair to, to blame that on me because it's not true. Oh, I'm not blaming it, blaming it at all. No, I'm not saying to you, but in general. <laughs> I'm just saying just, just since then, there has been a bit of a, a feud, so to speak, with you and Ariana Grande, which may or may not be based in reality, but that's what people have been saying. No, I mean, there's no feud. I mean, I just talked about this in Seventeen Magazine. Like, we're not, like, best friends, but at the end of the day, like, I wish her well, and she's doing great, and I'm happy for her. Is there a competitiveness between you two? No, I mean, we're on our own different paths, doing our own thing. I feel like that Victoria knew that Ariana was going to be this huge star. I kind of vision it like with the NFL draft. For example, with Aaron Rodgers, he was undrafted and the Packers finally were able to draft him. I know the music industry is a little bit different than the NFL, but, and as for Ariana, if Ariana did not post any covers on YouTube, she wouldn't be here where she is right now. 
there's a lot of competition in the music industry. I mean, people want to go ahead of everybody. They want to go against the best. Let's talk about Victoria, the artist. I really tried getting into her songs and I really couldn't. There's a lot of layers that need to be filled and I really feel like that her songs are just very generic. They're not really rememberable. They are just not really something I want to go back to. Nowadays with the music industry, you have to be very sexy. You have to have very good stage presence and you have to be very risky on trying something different that you've never done before. But Victoria Justice, you can tell that Victoria didn't really have it. I'm not sure that music is really for her. I feel like that in the music industry, that Victoria Justice is a bust. I don't think she has anything to prove to be on top. There's no songs that really catch anybody's eye. Another thing that didn't help her is the meme. You probably know which meme I'm talking about. The Victoria's cast members were being interviewed, making a lot of uh, compliments to Ariana Grande and her singing. And you can tell that Victoria was very bothered by this and she didn't really take it well. One thing you don't know about Ariana Grande is that she literally sings everything. Like yes. she's, she's starting to forget how to talk in her own voice because she sings everything. And it's a good thing because she's a beautiful voice, but it's awesome. She sings absolutely everything. She never stops. That's so true, Liz. You sing a lot too. Like, I, especially during the whole all sing. True. Yeah, all I guess that's true. I, I sing. Of course, she wanted to poke fun of herself and she heard about this meme and everything and uh, and why not? She, you know, said, oh, it's it's very cute and very funny, you know, I would share it, etc. It didn't go well for her. People really used this meme and started to mock her a lot. It's very sad that that had become a thing for her. It shouldn't be like that. Even though I am an Ariana fan and I love Ariana, she's helped me through a lot. But I think Victoria, in her mind, she thought like, I'm really in the dark right now. Why is nobody talking about me very much? You know, it's hard. You see this other girl, she has potential of being somebody huge, which she is now. Look at right now where Ariana is. I mean, she's breaking records. She's getting a lot of streams. She's even in a video game called Fortnite. Anyway, back to Victoria Justice. I feel like that Victoria was so threatened by Ariana's hype that she didn't want to continue on. I don't wish that on her, you know? Even though I'm not a fan of Victoria's music, I don't wish that on her. I hope that Victoria is doing much better nowadays. Anyway guys, I hope you guys are well and take care.